Table Mountain, I guess it's fair to say it's an extension of, of my back garden and it's a place I train every day when I'm at home. So I guess that's where my, my love for running started was on, on Table Mountain. It's always been a case of, of training for some big race um, overseas. And this year for Ultra Trail Cape Town, it's, it's completely different. Um, I get to train for this big race, but this big race is actually taking place in, in my backyard. I guess that that's why it, it makes it so special for me. And, and to know that um, no matter what happens on Saturday, whether I'm feeling terrible or amazing or whatever, like I'm gonna be running at, at home. That's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. I guess Saturday will just be another long run out in, in the mountains for me. Yeah, I basically lived on, on the race route for probably the first 14 years of, of my life. Growing up in Long Cliff, looking back at a couple of, of photos, I suddenly realized that just when I was a kid, like four or five years old, I was actually running up and down the, the, the trails that are actually the race route today running around there with mates and just getting lost for hours on, on end. You didn't worry about anything else except for trying to catch a couple of tap poles and making sure you're home for dinner. And I, I made it like two thirds of the way up. <laughs> and being able to, to run a route that has defined such a large part of my life growing up and, and who I've become today. So for me, it, it's a race I see myself being a part of for a very long time. I've had some really big career wins, but for me, I always, looking back at those, those wins, it's, it's never like, I don't ever think about crossing the, the finish line or kind of winning the race. I'm quite a climber. It's more about yeah. before and after the race, all, all the experiences that go into to that race. And yeah, I guess maybe I'm older and wiser now. I can see that looking back, I know that this is going to be one of the, the highlights of my career. In a sense, I'm not just like, I want to win the race, just kind of having family, friends, more like local trail running community here. If you don't know who this guy is, Ryan Sands, buddy. I'm trying him. Okay, he is doing the 100, I think. What are you doing here? Hold on, buddy. Grandfather was probably the, the first person that introduced me to the outdoors and to nature. I remember like talking to, to trees as, as a kid and even growing up probably when I was five or six, I remember running again into our small holding it in Hot Bay and having these long conversations with, with trees. I guess even, even today sometimes when I'm running, I look up and I kind of feel that connection with the nature and, and my surroundings and I guess I think that's something very cool and unique that Cape Town has to, has to offer. Yeah, there's just like not a part of the route that doesn't uh, mean something to me. I think 100 k's is a really perfect distance to, to take in the whole of Cape Town. Yeah, I guess that's why I'm so passionate about Ultra Trail. Cape Town has really got the potential to put South Africa on, on the trail running map uh, globally. And then also, I guess most importantly, just showcase Cape Town and, and Table Mountain to, to the rest of the world. I don't just want to be defined by Ryan Sands as this, this racer. I still want to be that like 80 year old bully still trekking around Table Mountain and telling my stories like one day when I was young I did this and that. So for me it's, it's cool to be able to, to run a race on, on the mountain on Saturday but then be back out there the following week just exploring the mountain and having fun with, with friends.
So for me, I guess um, it's the ultimate and I really don't think you can, you can beat Cape Town.